Welcome back to Guns 101, brought to you by the Self-Defense Radio Network. I'm Rob Morse from Self-Defense Gun Stories. My partners in this adventure are Amanda Suffolk from Eye on the Target Radio, the guy doing the heavy lifting there behind the corner. Right. Paul Lather from the Polite Society Podcast. Our guest is Derek LeBlanc from Kids Safe Foundation. Derek, a bunch of people got guns in the home just within the last couple months. If they got a semi-automatic handgun, explain the basics of what they just bought. The basics. Okay, so we'll start off. I always start off. Um, I'll show you what this is. This is called a magazine or a mag, okay, not a clip. Okay, very, very important. This is a magazine. And so the difference between a magazine and a clip is a magazine is what contains the ammunition, right? This is my, I use this, that's a dummy round. I use that for illustration, okay? So the clip contains the bullets. They go inside the magazine. That's It's for a different type of platform. For this, this illustration, I'm going to show you how the magazine works. So I have a couple dummy rounds in there. They simulate a, a real real round and so what I do I have a, a semi-automatic handgun right here okay this is a Glock 17 and this one is equipped with a flashlight this would be good for a you know home defense type purpose um, I'll show you there's there's nothing inside there okay so we're clear there and we're clear though so whenever I'm talking about showing clear I always want to know the, the condition of my firearm okay I always treat them like they're loaded but in this this position this this gun is not considered loaded I, st I can stick my finger inside the chamber there. I can feel that there's nothing inside there. I can also stick a finger inside the mag well. This gun is clear, okay? So to load this type of firearm, there's a couple different steps. I'm gonna break them down into steps to make it easy for you. So if you, you take your magazine, just like this, the bullets are gonna go forward down the barrel, just like this. I'm gonna see my magazine, make sure it's, it's fully seated, okay? So you'll see right there inside the, in the chamber, you can see the bullet now, okay? So every semi-automatic is going to have what's called a slide lock. There's a slide lock right there, okay? So what I can do here, now I have a loaded gun, okay? So important with a loaded gun, I always, I have four basic safety rules I cover when I'm handling a loaded gun, okay? So number one, I'm gonna treat every gun like it's loaded. Every gun is always loaded, okay? Number two, I'm gonna keep my muzzle point in a safe direction, okay? Which is either up or down, never at someone else, okay? Number three, finger straight and off the trigger to your sights are on the target and you've made the decision to fire, okay? Number four, make sure my target, my backstop, and what is beyond, okay? Really, really important when I'm inside the home is there's not, uh, when I talk about backstops, I want something that's gonna be able to stop that bullet if that gun goes off, okay? Inside the home, there's very few places that are really a good backstop. So we, obviously we wanna make be very, very careful, make sure that we don't have this gun go off accidentally inside the, the home. Okay, so to unload this firearm, what I would do is, there's a magazine release right here. I'm gonna hit that first, drop the mag out, okay? My next, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back on my slide, eject the shell okay you'll see that and i can i can go three times lock it back open just like this okay so my gun is clear again and so what i'll do is i'll show you again there's a couple we're going to do this a couple times and pay attention there will be a test okay so i'm going to seat the magazine drop the slide loaded gun okay so now i drop the magazine rack the slide bullet comes out okay clear gun again okay let's pay attention there's going to be a test okay I seat the magazine drop the slide so I did this in reverse okay so I didn't I didn't drop my magazine clear so I accident I accidentally or actually I deliberately chambered another round okay and so it's that one round that I just kicked out that it will typically hurt or kill someone okay it's always that gun oh I thought it was unloaded the gun goes off that's how somebody gets hurt and so you know you practice safety at all times um, the the likelihood of you ever having an accident are going to be decreased dramatically so well, I'll tell you that Derek one of the one of the things that we teach our students is that 
even no matter what, when you touch a gun, you pick up a gun, you look to see the condition that it's in and is it loaded. Mm -hmm. You need to know that. Yep. And you can't take someone else's word for it. Nope. They can't say, oh, I left an unloaded gun here. Go, you know, it is you never trust your safety or anyone else's safety to someone's eyesight because they may not intend to do something. They just might have missed it. And so by you being careful and by you ch dropping the magazine, locking the slide open, sticking your finger in there, double checking it, looking down in there and knowing what you're looking for, those things are critical to making sure that you've got an unloaded gun. So understanding what it looks like when it's loaded and when there's a bullet in there and it's open versus when there's no bullet in there and it's open is, is a part of the education that each new gun owner needs to have. And, and the benefit is with, with it open like this, I can stick a finger in there. I could be in the dark. I can tell the condition of this firearm. Okay. Obviously the gun cannot fire in this position. So, you know, obviously for a defensive type situation, I would definitely want that gun, that slide back or down and ready to fire. Okay. But I have to know uh, with the Glock, what I love, there's a, there's a loaded chamber indicator, which is right here, which is a great feature. A lot of the, the newer gun manufacturers will have a loaded chamber indicator. I can kind of rub my finger. I can tell the condition of this gun, whether it's loaded or unloaded. I mean, ultimately for safety, I'm going to treat it like it's, it's always loaded, so I'm never going to point it at someone. Um, make sure that my kids know these basic safety rules. And that's what I was talking about earlier about the Nerf guns. You know, they, these are a good way to teach your kids. And so you guys are kind of learning alongside of them. Obviously, you, you can practice these skills, you know, with targets and Nerf guns inside the home. And you could also be kind of learning about, you know, this, you know, the way this type of gun fires in a, in a, in a safer in, in, in controlled environment. Derek, you're a gun owner. You have mm -hmm. a gun in the home. Do you ever walk around the house with it in your hand? How is it? I guess my no. real question is, how is a gun stored during the day when you have it with you? Well, typically I, I, I carry a, a gun concealed for my protection and my family's protection and, and the public's protection. Um, but, you know, when that gun goes off of me, I have I have guns that are staged in the, in the house in different places, but they're all secure. And, and that's the whole point is is part of, of me being a responsible gun owner is I got to make sure that there's no chance that that gun could either be taken from me and used in the commission of a crime or that gun could be taken and used against me or my, my, my family. And, and so, you know, that's part of this, this new process for the, the new gun owner is, is realizing that this is a lifestyle. I um, mean, obviously it's ne never really kind of shined in a, in a positive light, but it really is something that if done properly and safely and responsibly, it, it can be a great uh, family affair. And that's what we do is, 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 encourage the families to be involved that way we're all learning safety together well that that makes that makes so much sense i i use the analogy a lot that having a gun in the house is kind of like having the responsibility of a toddler so you have to know where it's at you can't let strangers have it you can't just let it be free will and loose <laughs> anywhere you can't yeah. just set it in the corner yeah. you are responsible for it from the moment that you get it till the moment that you put it to bed, wherever, you know. And so if you think about gun ownership with that level of responsibility, because it really is, you are responsible for everything it does and every place it goes and every person that it has contact with. And so keep that in mind. So gun ownership has responsibilities associated with them. So we've got a, just a little bit of time. Is there any other message that you want to relay to the <clears throat> to the to the watchers on this one or okay so to, yeah so what i'll do is i'll talk about this is my nerf gun right or excuse me my cert gun excuse me and and so you know with this one it fires a laser i'll, I'll kind of point it at the screen see there's a there's a laser that comes out the green is when the, the gun fires and I, one thing i want to impress upon new gun owners is how a young child is going to handle this gun if they do it improperly Okay. And when I say improperly, it's because it was left out. It was put someplace by mistake. You know, I know we're busy, we're tired. Um, you know, we, we have a, a lapse in judgment and that gun is just left laying around. 
and, and that's how our kid comes across. It. Okay, so one thing to think about is kind of graphic, but you know, a, a young kid, you know, three to five years old might not have that that manual dexterous dexterity of the strength in that finger. So they they could use those both their thumbs, which orients the muzzle here into their face. Okay. And so that's kind of a graphic way, but I, I want to show the realness of owning a firearm and, and not being safe, you know, and, and so it's really, really important with our kids is, is you're bringing this gun into a sterile environment when you have no guns. Okay. So it's a sterile environment. So to keep it sterile, it's really, really important that you do practice those four basic safety rules. You do train, you get, get some experience and, and, and seek good, good training. Um, you know, find a local trainer in your area and get the experience and spend the time behind the gun so you can figure out how it functions, how to clear a malfunction. And, and, and that way, you're ultimately, you're going to be set up for success. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks so much. Um, as Derek says, it's really, really important. So <laughs> Derek LeBlanc, kidssafefoundation.org. Look him up. You're going to be pretty impressed. We'll be back. Thank you.